Hello everyone. I wanted to take you through a few visuals that will help you understand the SAMR model. Uh, so SAMR stands for Substitution, Augmentation, Modification, and Redefinition. And about seven years ago, I had the pleasure of meeting Ruben Puentadera, who is the architect behind the SAMR model, so that I could learn more about uh, these different levels of technology integration. So as an educational architect, um, my goal is always to be able to integrate technology so that um, it redefines the learning experience. But sometimes it's not always about redefining. Sometimes substitution is the right um, integration level or augmentation or modification. And so the real goal is to be able to say, what is it that I want my students to do? Am I looking for them to be able to compare and contrast? Am I looking for them to be able to reflect? Am I trying to get them to ask questions? Once I identify the skill and the competency that is the intended outcome for the lesson, then I can go and match it with the right fit technology. Too often, one of the biggest mistakes that educators make is that they find the technology first and they say, this is super cool. My kids are going to love it. I'm going to do it in this lesson. But that's the wrong approach to take. It has to start with what we want kids to do first and then finding the right fit technology. So you can see that um, in this visual, they're using uh, the different kinds of alterations that we have made to coffee, specifically what Starbuck has done to um, just the regular coffee and using that analogy to help you understand these different levels of tech integration. So um, here you see substitution and uh, substitution just means um, I'm going to <clears throat> take the regular cup of coffee and now I'm just packaging it in a, in a to-go cup, that's substitution. Same thing, just a little bit of a different format, not much of a change. But then when it comes to augmentation, now tech acts as a direct tool substitute and there's a functional improvement. And so when we come back to that, uh, the analogy there is taking that cup of coffee, but now when we add ice to it, um, it is just changing the function of it. So it's not just for, um, you know, you know, there's certain times when we need an iced coffee versus a regular cup of coffee. And if you go to modification, now the tech allows for a significant task rede redesign. <clears throat> so I look here at modification and that's where we're changing flavors and uh, we added ice and maybe a little bit of foam on the top. And then finally, tech allows for the creation of a new task. It was perceivably, it was previously inconceivable. So it's completely new from where you started. And that's where you get these deluxe uh, drinks that taste nothing like the original coffee drink where we started. So I like visuals and I think it's really important when you're teaching that you use images and analogies as much as possible to help students build understanding. So this visual um, is really one of my favorites. And so looking at um, the SAMR model and how the different levels change, think about if you're going to explore the ocean. If you're just standing on sea, there's no tech, you're just looking at the ocean, that's your only way of self-discovery. But as soon as you jump into a boat, now you went from standing to being able to be on top of the water, that's an act of substitution. There was really no functional change. Um, augmentation then is like, now I'm going to get my snorkel and I'm going to be able to start to look below the surface. And so um, there was a functional improvement in that approach to discovering and exploring the ocean. And then with modification, now you're actually going to use the scuba tank so that you can really get down there and start to interact with some of the wildlife um, in the ocean floor. And then finally, building a contraption that really takes you to the bottom of the ocean, that's a redefining moment. And it's important to see that modification and redefinition are both transformational learning strategies where substitution and augmentation, it enhances the learning for students. Uh, throughout this portion of the module, you know, really take time trying to understand these different levels of integration.